Hi, I'm Dr. Gabrielle Miotto. I'm a plastic surgeon in Atlanta, Georgia, and I want to talk to you about fat transfer to the breasts or breast augmentation with fat transfer. This procedure is designed for patients that want a mild enhancement in volume and shape of the breasts because it doesn't provide the amount of volume that a breast implant provides, but also it's not a breast implant. It is the patient's own fat that we can use after we do a liposuction to enhance the breast shape and size. Very common areas where we inject fat is the cleavage and the upper pole to make this area of the breast that usually becomes flatter with time a little more volumized. Also for patients that have very small breasts but do not want a breast implant, fat grafting to the breasts may be an excellent option because it will be a permanent solution for that uh, small deficiency, right? So it's not, again, for women that desire a large augmentation of the breasts, but a mild enhancement of the breasts. We do the fat grafting in a superficial plane, so usually it doesn't affect a mammogram or other image uh, exams of the breast long term. It is the same consistency of the breast, so it doesn't make the breasts firmer. It makes them a little bit fuller. The fat that we inject in the breast also uh, has some absorption. So about 50% of what we place stays forever. Part of it goes away within the first three and four months. So everything that stays after four months is usually permanent. If the patient gains weight over time, the breast will also gain weight because that fat is there and is permanent. If the patient loses weight, Usually there is some loss also in breast volume, as normally, even if we do not have fat grafting to the breast, that happens naturally. Also, is a scarless way of enhancing the breast because we usually use tiny little holes with a needle around the breast to inject that fat. So there are really no scars when we do fat transfer to the breasts. We do need to do a liposuction in an area of the body where there is excess fat so we can use this fat to be transferred so we cannot get fat from somewhere else but uh, so the patient needs to have some fatty deposits usually waistline abdomen or thighs and then we prepare it as, as a filler instead of throwing it away we can inject in the breasts so if you think you are interested in this procedure or you could be a good candidate for fat transfers to the breasts Come and see us in the office. Uh, we will examine you and make a sound plan to you and make sure that our goals are aligned, that what we can achieve with breast uh, fat transfer is something that is what you're looking for. And uh, I'm looking forward to our discussion and it will be a pleasure to take care of you.